Right, so before we even get into this video, the football boots that I scored this amazing goal in... I am giving them away. Make sure you watch this whole video to find out how to win them. Guys, this video is actually sick. It's amazing. His name starts with a S and ends with a V2. Make sure you like and subscribe, it's for free, dude. Right, so as a kid, I fell in love with the sport called football. Watching legends like Ronaldinho, Thierry Henry and Cristiano Ronaldo play every week would be a hobby of mine. And trying to perfect their skills that they would display in their matches would always be a hobby. Now, when I was younger, I would say I was really, really talented at football. I was literally like a goal scoring machine. So yeah, right here is a golden boot I won. I scored 54 goals in one season. Honestly, I was literally a goal machine. Nothing was stopping me from hitting the back of the net. Here, as you can see, this is my African name. I had 23 games played and I scored 54 goals in one season. I was actually sick. Here's all the goals I scored in each game. As you can see, I scored a lot of hat tricks and in one game, I even managed to score seven goals in one game, guys. But unfortunately, after many, many trials with some top Premier League clubs, I managed to contract a disease in my knees called Osgood Scalatus. Osgood Scalatus is common around boys who play football at a very young age and they don't really rest a lot. So I had a fat lump on my knee for around two years and every time I'd play football, it would hurt so much. Now, once the disease was gone, basically, guys, my football career just went downhill from there. I just wasn't the same football player. Now, big shout outs to my friend Ben Morris. He made a series where he would work as a delivery driver for a whole week and something clicked in my head after watching this. Why don't I try and work like a professional footballer for a whole week? This would be sick. So over the past week, I have been living like a professional footballer, training like a pro footballer, recovering like a pro footballer, and even playing in a big 11 a side match like a pro footballer. And in this video, I'm gonna take you on my journey of what would basically be me Trying to be a pro footballer for the week. If you really enjoyed this kind of video, make sure you hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We need to hit 1 million subscribers this year. I want to hit a million subscribers before the year can end. So every sub counts. So without further ado, I think it's time we get into my week. Let's do it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, day one. So I wanted to see how good my cardio was. And this was a key problem that I've been suffering with recently, which is tiring out and gassing out very quickly in football matches. Now in 400 meters, I used to get around or under 55 seconds when I was really, really fit a couple years ago. So let's see what I can get in this mini fitness test today. 400 meters, I'm ready. Sam, I am ready, let's do this, man. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, right guys, and we are off. Now if you're wondering why I've got um, tissue in my nose, it's because I'm, I'm getting ill, yeah, I'm, I'm getting something like a cold or something like that. But here we go in the 400 meters. So right now, it may look like I'm running very, very slow, but I have long legs, guys. I'm around, what, 6263. So when I take steps, my strides are very, very big. Now, guys, I can't lie. At this point in the 400 meters, my legs, yeah, they started to feel like jelly. I didn't know it would take this much strength and cardiovascular endurance for me to complete this. Guys, when I say 400 meters is no joke, this, this event is no joke, honestly. Like, as you can see right here, I'm getting so slow. I'm literally like jog walking. It may look like I'm running fast with my arms, but guys, no, that is not the case. You can literally hear it in my voice. I am getting so, so, so tired, but guys, my time wasn't the best. That's all I have to say. My time was not the best, and this is what I got, basically. Oh my God. <sighs> No, I do not want to know. Never again in my life. That is terrible. Bro, when I say I'm never doing 400 again, I'm never doing it again. Right, so that was terrible. That fitness test went down the drain and that basically proved that this week my fitness would be a very, very concerning factor that I'll have to keep in mind. But next up for the day, I had actually booked a one-on-one -on -one session with a good coach that I found on Instagram called LJ One to One Football Fit. My first session, we've got a session with a personal football trainer, LJ. LJ One to One Football on Instagram. And he's gonna run me through a little session, something that professionals would do on their free times, you know, in their free spare time, they'll have a one-on-one -on -one session with a coach. And this is what I'm gonna be doing today. I think we're gonna be testing my technical ability, speed, agility, dribbling, control, finishing, all of that good stuff. Woo! Right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for my one-on-one -on -one session. We've got the main man over here, LJ. LJ one to one Guys, when I say he's gonna turn me into a pro footballer in this session, this is what he's gonna do, man. How you doing? You good? I'm good, man. I'm really good. So, 
guys, I've walked in and look at this. This is looking like a like a football puzzle. What stuff do we have here? Right, you're gonna be doing a speed and agility warm up. Yep. In a bit of technical work, into finishing. All right, guys. When I say I'm gonna turn to professional football, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Look at this. Look what we got. This is gonna be sick. So, guys, I think it's time we get straight into my first session of the week. Let's do it. My fitness is just terrible. Why am I tired? No, we're not ready. Passes. Right foot, okay. left foot. Nice and soft, yeah? Let's go. Right foot. Good. Left foot. Good. Left foot. Good. Right foot. Good. Left foot. Good. Right foot. Good. Left foot. Nice one. Stop there. Half volley. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Relax. <laughs> I just get it with your head. I'm busy concentrating on my pass here. <laughs> then all of a sudden there's walls here. Let's go, bounce. Bounce. Drop. Play. Yeah. Bounce in. Bounce there. Drop. Good. Play. Oh my oh god! Oh no! <laughs> right, I knew it! I knew that happened! <laughs> How you feeling bro? How you feeling? It's a thing that I've been struggling with throughout my whole footballing career. It's when I'm playing, I'm not feeling tired here. It's my legs, it's like my muscles. They're just feeling all tired. That's when I start to get sweaty. I think I need to drink more water. So when I say go, in and out, when I say go again, maybe five seconds later. First touch into the square, dribble, shift, finish. Nice. They won. Hell. Absolute hell. He's put me through it, man. But this was needed. There's so many little things that footballers need to become pro. So if any of you guys are looking to become a pro, your touch has to be good. Control. Mind as well, mind. The little games was playing for me at the start, my mind wasn't ready. So guys, I think I'm gonna wrap it up there for session number one. Make sure you go and check him out on Instagram. You got a YouTube channel coming? Or? Yeah, yeah, LJ Football Fit. Yeah? There'll probably be a card up there. Make sure you guys check him out right now. Follow his Instagram. That's it, guys. Right, right, right. Ready, yo. I'm on my way to swimming to go relax these muscles. Go, go, stretch my muscles. I found these workouts that you do in a pool. And that's what I'm doing today. Let's do this. Doing this one. I can see you. <laughs> yes, Savo. What's up, man? You ready to swim? Your forehead looks big because of the wide angle. We are pro footballers for the hour, bro. Do you think it's possible for me to make League Two? Pardon? To make League Two, to be a League Two football player. Do you don't think I can make League Two? Joking, yeah, you can. Alright, so uh, we've run into a little dilemma. Andrew, can you explain it to them? Uh, you forgot your shorts. So what we're gonna do is Andrew's gonna run me through the session and I'm gonna take his pants. You're my trainer for today, bro. Oh! <laughs> Hello. Do you have to shower before you get in the pool? Pool rules. No, no, but no, you know what you have to do. No, 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 no. This is what you have to do. This is what you have to do. First one, turn them all on and run. <laughs> oh, <there we> <laughs> oh my. 
All right, SV2, are you ready? Put your goggles on. Yes, you look like uh, Michael Phelps. Oh my God! <laughs> Don't ever do that again. Wait, we have to warm up first. We have to warm up. We have to warm up. All right, so what you're going to do is swim the whole length twice, back and forth. Let's go. No, you can, you can. This is what pros do. You know what Andy Joshua does? Under the water, all the way. Let me see that speed. One, two, three, go. Oh, you are now. You would have lost. You would have lost. Swim like a pro. Swim like Michael Phelps. You ready to sprint? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Right, so this sprint exercise I was doing got my legs feeling like jelly very, very quickly as there was a lot of resistance with this exercise. Right guys, so it's my rest day today, day number two. Since I don't really have anything planned, Saba messaged me, he said we might as well go to a football pitch and get some drills in because for the game this weekend, I think I'm gonna be playing striker and I need to get my finishing on point, you know, I can't be missing none of my one on one. So Saba's found some drills online and I agreed with him, the drills that we found were pretty good and he's gonna run me through some of them. Let's improve my finishing. I had oats and fruits for breakfast today, but I can't lie, guys, this waking up every day early is killing me. It is killing me. So annoying. So annoying. Boy over here, Sabs. Yeah. He is going to run me through some pro drills. If you guys didn't know, he actually used to be a professional footballer. He used to play for Reading. Sabs, tell them the story. What happened, bro? What happened at Reading? Why are you not playing uh, you professional know, I, football I, I right now? I broke my knee in it and I got injured and... That uh, did not happen. Yeah, so, got, unfortunately, I, got, I got released from... Wait, what was the excuse that they gave, like? It's not good enough, innit? Is that what they said? You're just not good enough? Yeah, it's not good enough. That is demoralizing bro. Right, so something I realized I don't really do is stretch or warm up before I play football, which always causes me to come off the pitch early in football matches. So Sava ran me through a little warm up before we started our drills. What are we doing now? Gonna put you through your paces, mate. Gonna work on your agility, zigzag runs, you know, look, zig, zag, do this. You're gonna go through here, there, up, back down, around, here, back down, around, back down here, whoop. Yeah? Then do I sprint out to the end? He's out here. Woo, guys. All right, he's actually putting me through my paces. This is going to be kind of long. Let's do it. Let's go. Work, work, work. Across, up, down. Yes, that's good. That's good. Across, ah. good. Back down. Ah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Sprint, sprint, sprint. That's good. Oh. I like it. Oh, I like that. Quick burst. Quick burst. How's it feel? Can't lie. No, 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 shut up. Let's go again. Let's go. Come on. Come on. You want to be a pro? Let's do this. Go. <sighs> How you feeling? Feeling like a pro yet? Oh. You're getting, that's just the warm up, boy. Oh. Oh. So as I was going to play striker slash left forward this weekend, the drill we'll be working on is one-on-ones versus the goalkeeper. My finishing had to be on point in the match and Sav is very good at finishing and he used to play pro. So he ran me through this drill that he found at Reading. Go. Quick up, quick up, quick up. Beat him out, beat him, beat him. Step over, away, corners. That's not bad, that's not bad. Power. Speed, agility, beat your man. Away, away. Yes, corner, corner. That's good. That's good. Push it to the left, across the goal, left foot. Go. Good. Far. Be him better. Look up. Be him. Left foot. Left foot. Good job. That's good. I like it. That's good. Could have been quicker in the box, but you know, we would have been closed down in that box. Go. Let's go. Good. Now on the phone, my cameraman called me right here and he asked me if I wanted to go and play for his six aside team later on today for my cardio as he already knew that I was doing a week in the life of a pro footballer. So I said, you know what? I might as well do it. I'll play for your team. So guys, We've got a match coming up. Let's do this. Right, so guys, I am at home from the session with Sava. It's been a while because we was filming as well. We was filming for his channel and another video for my channel. So guys, I am I'm slumped. I'm finished. I'm tired. 
But before I do anything, your boy has to eat. I've got to get some food in me. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm eating. Then we're going to head off to the game for Sam's team. And hopefully I can bag some goals. Let's do this, man. Guys, my mum has made... Ooh! My mum has made some nice roast and chicken. Oh, my camera lens is getting steamy. Don't know if you guys can see that properly. We've got sweet potato and chicken. But I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to eat it in time. Because the game is at 7.30. So I might have to take something light. We have gone for some African food. This is called jollof rice right here. It's basically rice with like stew mixed inside of it. So we're gonna stab that in the microwave and thank you. That's just some quick food that I'm gonna have before the game. So that's all the energy that I'm just gonna burn off during the game. So it should be all right. I'm hoping to get like three goals in the game. I'm hoping it's gonna be a good game. So guys, I'm gonna eat up my food and I think I'm gonna see you at the game. Let's do this. Professional footballer for a week. Dan's picked me up for his team. How many goals do you think I'm gonna get, Alex? How many goals? Well, what was that, zero? Um, Sam said I'm not starting today because I'm too rubbish for his team, so... Yeah. I'm sub, I'm on the bench. He's going to sub me on in a bit. We'll see what happens. Hopefully they start losing, they need to sub me on, then I score the goal, so I look good. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Let's go. So guys, my first dropping match of the week, I am playing for my friend Sam's football team. He rang me up after my session with Sam and he said, E-man, you might as well play, bro. Come show your skills, come and rip these guys. Now, when I arrived at the pitch, guys, yep. Yeah, the team was meant to play, they didn't even turn up, but there was a team that was playing before us and they were like a bunch of kids. So we just said, yeah, you know what, we might as well play you. And guys, let me just say, <laughs> the standard of football you're about to see, <laughs> it's very low, it's very low, that's all I can say, so enjoy. Now I'm not familiar with everyone's name, but this guy's on the ball, takes a shot and the keeper actually saves it. I am shooting right, by the way, so I'm shooting this way. So here you can see me. They didn't start me because obviously I don't normally play for the team and they don't know if I'm that good. So here my team is on the ball. This player, he's on the ball holding it up. CM, what's he going to do? Go and drive through. We get tackled by the other team and yet yeah, nothing comes from there. And as you can see, guys, I, I did say the, the standard is low. It's very low. So the opposition has played it overhead. Now can the keeper pick it up? And oh the, my God. The keeper has, has injured himself somehow. He, he slipped over. Oh dear. Right, so Alex on the ball here, takes a shot, he is left footed. Oh, it's a good shot and a good save from the keeper. Right, so Sam, Sam on the cam, my cameraman, he's on the ball now. Plays a nice ball off to the left winger. The left winger's on the ball, what's he gonna do? Holds it up. What's he gonna do here? Sets Sam back, Sam goes for it. Oh my gosh, Sam. If you're watching this, that was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Down line. That's why he's your cameraman, bro. So finally, the moment you've all been waiting for me, SV2, I'm on the pitch and let's see what I can do. Can I make an instant impact? Right, I'm on the ball here. What am I gonna do? Take a little step over. I go for a fake shot here. This play is just skanking. He turns here. I play into Alex. Alex is on the ball now. Alex is gonna shoot and get the goal. Plays in. Oh, he shot already and something happens here. I don't know what's happened, but the other team are on the counter attack now. I've stopped the ball. Come on, E man. Play it out to Sam. Sam's on the ball. Sam plays it back to me. Come on, E man. Do something. Come on. Oh, fake shot. I made that play turn left foot. It's a terrible shot on my left, I can't lie. Right, so Alex is on the ball here. Alex takes a step with his left. He's actually a left-footed player, if you guys didn't know. I think I've said that already. But here he goes. Um, something happens, the defender plays it to me. I go for a shot and the keeper saved it and it hits the crossbar. This keeper was making some amazing saves today. I'm on the ball here. Beautiful dribbling there just to hold it and keep it there. Keep on pressing me, but I'm not giving them the ball. I'm not going to lose it. I set it to this player. He sets it off to, I think this is Sam. Sam. Oh, no, wait, this isn't Sam. This is a player. I don't know his name. He plays it back to me. I'm on the ball now. Can I go for a shot? Is a shot on? I don't think it is. I play it into Alex. Alex is there. Plays it into me. I'm on the ball now. Go on, man. Back hill. No, no. Oh, my God. What a goal. What a goal. That was cheeky. I received the ball. Take a touch. Move it out. And I back hill. No, look the ball. Into the bottom left corner. What, what a goal. What a goal. My team are in possession of the ball. He flicks it over. I take a beautiful touch down to, to this player. I don't know his name, but he's battling with another player. Their team gets the ball. But here again, my team wins it back. I'm on the ball now. If you can see those guys standing at the back, they, they realize that I was a YouTuber. But anyways, there is my goal. So the guys that were standing on each other's shoulders, they were like, hold on. I know this guy. He's a YouTuber. And yeah, they got in my video. So shout outs to you. So it's 2 0 right now. This player has done this, given it to me. So I take the mic. I flick it over his head. I go for a shot and Guys, I've missed it from there. I was literally one centimeter away from the goal and I couldn't finish it. Oh, but the skills, man, the skills. Opposition have the ball in a risky area. What's he going to do here? Plays it to his teammate, but it's a poor pass. I win the ball here. I'm holding up. I'm waiting for my team to come because I want to pass it around. Sam goes for a shot and it's a goal. 3 0. Two goals, one assist. For moi. So we are actually getting to the dying stage of the game and because my team basically has possession 24 7, the other team aren't really trying. So Sam's on the ball here. What's Sam going to do? 
takes a shot and it's another goal. I think that cuts my assist as well. 4 0, 2 assists, 1 goal. Oh yeah. So here is the last kick of the game. Sam's on the ball, set me on the ball. I flick it off to Alex. Alex, what can you do, son? Finish it off, man. I set you with a brilliant pop and you, you can't fit. I think that just wraps up the standard of this league, guys. Yeah. Yikes, that's it. That is day two over. I'm tired, man. I'm tired. So, Sam, the game yesterday with your team. Your team. <laughs> your team is terrible. <laughs> your team is trash. They look great. They look great. Oh, man. The standard, I, I could tell that I was just like, I am about to head off and do a little recovery less intense fitness session. Um, we're going with Strive Fitness. He's going to run me through a session. That's what we're going to be doing today, basically. First things first. We gotta get some food in, bro. We got a little too. Yeah. Sam, look at the sat nav. Look how long it's saying the drive's gonna be. One whole hour for a fitness session. Big man, is this what footballers have to go through? You're waking up at these stupid times just to go for a fitness session. Oh, this is long. This is actually long. One hour drive all the way to St. Neots. I think that's how you say it. Is that how you mm -hmm. say it, Sam? St. Neots. I just like to sleep in my bed at these times. And the thing is, it's like 11. It's like 12 <laughs> I know. This is terrible. Oh! Right, so guys, we are here. My private PT session. Guys, it's time to get fit for my next matches. Let's do this, baby. You're gonna get rinsed. I am Look at this place. You're gonna get finished. Standing against that box for me, facing my way. Okay, previous injuries, anything on that right side? Um, no, I can't say when I was 13, I had a... Oscar's? Oscar's, yeah. Oscar, yeah. Yeah, again, that's, again, that's a football-related problem that tends to happen with athletes that are what's called pod dominant. Right-handed as well, yeah? Left. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up! Left-handed, yeah. Do you use your computer a lot? Yes, yeah. Right-handed, though? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, because that hand is way down compared to the other. So Steve from Strive Fitness basically dissected my body and told me what's wrong with my muscles and he pointed out a lot of things that I didn't even know about myself. And this was all before we even started to do any exercises. So Steve was telling me that my glutes and muscles inside of my bum were very, very tight and he had a method that would help me make them feel loose. The magical ball. Oh gosh, guys, this, this ball, it hurt. It hurt a lot. Ball under the bum. Roll up here. That, that's it, and then just look around for points of discomfort. Yeah. Found one straight away. Yeah. yeah, funny that. Okay, so we're gonna hold it on there. Most is that the most sensitive area? Yeah. Oh it's here. Onto the box. Yeah. Bum up back. Pop. Step, step, off, off, step, step, off, off. And then when I say go, they would up their acceleration and drive through the box. Full range, so drop in from the bottom. Up. Squeeze and shove the places together, into the box. And relax. Oh. And that would be the warm-up set. Wow. <laughs> the warm-up set. Great. <laughs> Would they do okay. a session like this? Okay, it depends. Yeah. So that kind of routine that we've just gone through, that would be a typical in-season routine. And what we do, if normally the guys, if they've got a game on a Saturday, game on a Tuesday, they wouldn't do this in the week. Right. But if you've got a game Saturday and then nothing midweek, if you're part-time, you'd normally be training on a Tuesday and a Thursday. So that would be, obviously, you'd do this once a week. If you're pro, this would be an extra on top of what you're doing. Yeah. You'd have to really think about the amount of volume of work that you're doing whilst you're at a club. So what I took from that is literally, my fitness level and my like athleticism. Is that a word? Athleticism, that yeah, is a word, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's terrible. Look at how I am at the moment. And then to be fair, I think I'm a good baller. I'm decent. Yeah, you're but right. Said, imagine that with the fitness stuff on the side that I'll be banging out. I think I can make it pro, you know? I might go back into the league. Come on, you man. Guys, I'm quitting YouTube. I'm gonna be a pro footballer. Like, come on. Oh! Session from Strive is done, guys. It is time we head off to Rebel FC. Yo, this is actually tiring. This whole pro football thing is tiring. But it's got to be done. It's got to be done. This is where I failed. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. 
So ladies and gentlemen, it was time for my last training session before my big game this weekend. So I had it with my club Rebel FC. You guys might know Rebel FC. They played it in the Wembley Cup versus hashtag F2 and XO FC. Now for this training session, I was running a bit late, but it doesn't matter because we trained hard in the rain. Everyone's here. We've been playing with each other long enough. Take responsibility for the session. So let him know. So have a look at this group here. This training session was mainly aimed towards in-game situations and our technical control on the ball. So we did drills to work on our touches and our control and also our counter attack. So right here, me and Sab have done some warming up. We've done some half volleys and full volleys. And basically what would happen is after a full rotation, Sab would throw the ball over my head and I would have to control it and literally do kickups all the way to the blue cones, turn and play it back to Sabba. And Sabba had the same thing, but he had to incorporate his chest into it. So this drill was me and Sava versus Lionel and Marcus. It was basically attackers versus defenders. We set the ball and they had to get to one side of the pitch. But as you can see, my defense was on point. Now it's mine and Sava's turn. Let's see what the SNS combination can bring. By the way, guys, should me and Sava make a dual channel where we do like clips together, little football stuff challenges? Let me know. Right, so this is three versus two attacking me, Sava and Jesse. You know Jesse, he scored in the Wembley Cup, very good goal. Versus two defenders, which is Rayan and Danny, I believe it is. So we would have the ball and we have to set each other and get past them while the defenders done a mini drill just before they pressed us. And as you can see guys, I was on fire, I was scoring some good goals, you know. Right guys, so Rebel FC training was finished and that was my last training session of the three days of hardcore training, hard work and everything like that. So what is next is my big match. I had two days of rest after those three days of training, so my match would obviously fall on a Saturday. And guys, wish me luck. Let's hope I can get one goal in my match. Let's do this. So ladies and gentlemen, the big game that you have been waiting for. Here we go, SV2 11 aside. Now, if you want to win those blue football boots that I am wearing, all you guys have to do is comment down below how many goals and assists I got in this football match. That's literally it. Hit the like button as well and make sure you're subscribed to the SV2 army. Now, I actually rocked up late to this match because my sat-nav took me to the wrong location, so I was a bit late. They were already setting up. They were ready to go, basically, and I was there getting my shin pads out. It, it wasn't a good look. It wasn't a good look, basically. But, nevertheless, you guys, you know I'm SV2. I will provide for the team now once this game started i basically realized that the standard wasn't the best it wasn't amazing some people were were decent at football and some you know they, they weren't they were just some sunday ballers i was playing with their friends right guys i am on the blue team we are shooting towards the left now i was going to get my friend jeremy peterson to commentate but he's actually on holiday in bermuda so this play on the ball i call him gomez he plays it into me now i'm on the ball what am i going to do i play it across the pitch to my center midfield he's played it across right now to the other center mid but right here my right wing is on the ball now my team all pretty good at like holding the ball up so this guy's holding up now this guy gets the ball holds up guys i'm not familiar with my team's name but here he goes plays it back to this center back center backs on the ball now brings it across is he gonna play into me oh, no. He's gone for a shot and he's blasted it straight at me. But unfortunately, this is actually going to lead to Orange's counter-attack. Can my defense pick the ball up? Can they do it? Yes, they can. Right, guys, here your boy is on the ball. I'm pressing his play. He tries to chop me, but I don't know what he was trying to do there. I set it back to our left back, I believe this is. He plays it across to our striker. Our striker plays a nice little through ball there. I don't think he meant that. But here, Gomez is on the ball. Go on, Gomez. He's driving it. Gomez, what's he going to do? He's going for a shot and it goes wide. Right, the fence plays it out to Gomez. Gomez is on the ball now. I shout for him to play it down the line. I receive the ball. What's going to happen here? I take it on my inside. Goalkeeper's off his line. Ema. Oh, the goalkeeper has managed to save that. I thought that was going to be flying top bins. As you can see here, I take a shot, but it just hasn't got enough power to beat the goalkeeper, so he catches it. Right, so I'm about to show you guys a little bit of skill. The ball actually falls to me here. Two players come to press me, but boom, I flick it through the gap. Go on, Eba. you got to do something special. I go for a shot, and oh my God, it's, it's gone wide. That was terrible. Right, guys, my centre-back is on the ball. Plays a lofted ball. 
Oh, that's a nice touch from me. Here we go. Oh, little flick down the line to Gomez. Gomez is on the ball. I tell Gomez to set me, but unfortunately, he doesn't. He's just holding the ball up now. Plays it into our centre mid. Our centre mid is on the ball. Driving. Plays it through a lofted ball to our striker. And yet, no one can get the ball. Oranges have the ball here. Actually, no. The Blues have it. Our left back played it into Gomez. Gomez flicks it into me. I take a step in. Flick it over his head into the ball. Can he finish it? No, he can't. My strike force. What's happening, guys? What is happening? I need some solid strikers on this pitch, man. Orange throw in here. I don't know what they're going to do. They play it down the line straight to our defense. Our defenders on the ball. They played it down to me. I am going to play it inside to our centre mid. This guy's name was Harry, actually, I remember. He's played it across to our striker. Our striker takes a, a terrible touch here. It was very questionable. I don't know what happened here. But right now, our right wing is going to whip it. Oh, no, he even sent me. He doesn't whip it in. He plays it in. What's going to happen here? Our centre mid finds me. Come on, E-man. Takes a touch. Come on, fake shot. Go on. Oh my god, there we go! Woo! There we go, guys. I've scored my first goal. And I give the heart to the crowd, even though there was no crowd. Just my, my cameraman. But, guys, that was decent. My training on day one with LJ Football Fit came in clutch. Did you see the control? The ball gets played into me. I take a touch, manage to control it on this bobbly ground, do a fake shot, drive it again, and take a shot. And it ends up in the back of the net. Lovely. Played it in the air now. Who's going to win it? Is it oranges? No, blues managed to win it. And here I am on the ball now. I'm trying to control it down. I managed to get through this little gap. Take it in. Take it inside. I'm going to cut in. It looks like I'm going to shoot. But there's a lot of players crying to me. So I actually release it and give it off to our centre mid. He's on the ball. Plays it out to our right back or right mid. I'm not sure who it is right now. He's on the ball. Plays it to the right mid. Now this is the right mid. Bruh. He goes for a cross. And unfortunately that cross was, was questionable. Our left back hoofs the ball straight down the line to me. I take a touch. Oh my gosh. My touch is on point today. I'm on fire. I'm driving down the line here. I see a player making the run. So I play it down the line to him. Can he finish it off? Yes, he can. 2-0. Two 2-0 nil. Two nil to the orange. Boy! 2-0 oh! to the Blues and that is my first assist of the game. Beautiful. So the ball's been whipped into the box now. Our striker's on the ball. Plays it. I think he's meant to play it into me. But guys, the striker's not the best. I can't lie. Now they're right back to hoofed it up. But my left back receives it. I'm on the ball now. Oh, yeah. I'm for a fake shot. Yeah. this way. I'm yeah. going to move him. Ping it in. Go on. Go on. Finish it, son. Finish it. Oh, yes. There we go. That's another goal for my team. So that is 3-0 and two assists for me and one goal. Yo, I am playing good. My trading this week has been crucial to this. Oranges are on the ball. They've played it into the danger zone. But unfortunately for them, my team managed to pick it up. Harry plays it into Gomez. Gomez to me. I'm on the ball. Go on, Iman. Holds the ball up. Oh my god, a little back heel pass to the striker. Striker tries to one two it to me, and the striker can't play a good pass to me. Oh, did you see the play right there? And the striker just couldn't pick it off and give me a correct and accurate pass. Meh? Why? Why? Gomez battling for the ball here. Go on, Gomez. Come on, Gomez. Well done. Gomez wins the ball. I do a run down the line. That's probably the best option for me to do because I'm black and fast. So here Gomez tries to play it to me, but unfortunately he loses it. But then he gets it back. Now he plays the ball into me. What can I do? e -man. go on, cuts in, goes for a shot and it takes a deflection. It is our corner. And guys, watch what I do on this corner. I'm actually a baller. I'm actually a baller. So Sam, my cameraman said, e -man, go for it. And guys, I whip it in and boom. Is that my goal? Guys, let me know in the comment section down below. Did I score that corner? Like, is that my goal? Here's a replay. Here I go for the shot. It goes in and it's bending because it was very windy on that day. And the keeper, I don't know if he got a touch to it, but it ends up in the back of the net. Can I count that? Is that my goal, guys? Is that two goals for me? Right, guys. So it's 4-0 to my team in the first half. But guys, when I say the game's not over, there's still another half to play. The other team might come back. This is a... Uh... I need to go centimeter and... I need a new striker because he's not working hard enough, even though I'm tired. Right, guys, so the second half is underway here. The oranges are on the ball. I'm pressing. I am actually get a touch of the ball here. I get past this player, use my pace to keep it in. Gomez is on the ball now. Gomez running down the line. I'm shouting for the ball. Gomez, give me the ball. Gomez plays it into me. I get it out. I get it out. Yeah. Oh, on. oh, fake shot. Yeah. Oh, I'm sending the wrong way. Take a shot. Oh, that's a weak shot from me, man. So because my team was a player down, we actually managed to get Kaylin Martin, who plays for Rebel FC, one of my good friends, to come and play for my team. Right here, Oranges are driving through the box. What's happened? Keeper's stuck his leg out. Oh, and our defenders pushed him over, and the ref has given a penalty. No. Oranges steps up for his pen, and oh, I can't lie. That was a very, very good pen from him. It's 4-1. Right now, guys, you might think Kaylin Martin is a goalkeeper, but he has incredible amounts of pace. Look at this run from him. Running down the wing. He is very, very fast. Very, very quick here. Go on, Kaylin. Can you play it into me? Can he find me? Kaylin cuts back. Is he going to cut? Yeah, he cuts back. Plays it into me. Come on, Eva. What am I going to do? Flick it up. I'm thinking the play is going to run into the box, but he stops. And I actually done the back heel and the keeper got it. Oh, 
Right, I'm pressing for the ball here. I've managed to win it. I've played it in to who have I played it into now? Our defender, but he's lost the ball. Oh no, this guy's on the attack. Oranges are on the attack. What's he gonna do? Plays it out to his player. He whips it in the box. Oh no, no, it's bounced over our defender's head. He's gonna finish it, isn't he? He said, Oh, what kind of sweaty goal is that? That is the sweatiest goal I've seen, honestly. It's 4-2 now, and their attacker has been causing us problems. I can't lie. Ever since this second half has started, he's been causing us problems. Plays a through ball into his play. His player takes a shot there, and it ends up in the back of the net. Now it's 4-3. Orange has tried to clear the ball out. It comes off our player's back. Can they win it back? No, they can't. Harry is on the ball now. Harry's going to play it down the line to me. I'm on the ball. What can I do? Can I find anyone? Do a little fake shot there. Try to play it in, but they get deflection. Now Harry's on the ball. Go on, Harry. Harry's playing it in. Go on. Finishes it. Oh! What a goal from Harry outside of the boot. Does that count as my assist? Just seen the footage. Yes, it actually does. I get the ball and set it back to Harry. And I was the last person to pass it to him. And he scored. So, yeah, that is what? Four assists. I've been involved in every single goal. It's been a good game for me. My friends, they just love to annoy me. So, right here, Kalen Martin actually swaps bibs and goes on the Orange team to try and win the game for them. And basically annoy me. And this is the first exhibit of what he does to annoy me. So, it's a blue throw. And what's going to happen here? I play it into Gomez. Gomez sets me on the ball. Now, watch my footwork, guys. Oh, through like four of them. And here, Kalen Martin just runs. And he's just pushing me. He keeps on pushing me. And I actually get the free kick here. But nothing comes from it. Kalen is so annoying. Dying moments of the game now. Gomez is running through the middle of the park. Oh my god, what a nice flick from me. I go for a shot and unfortunately it falls wide. That would have been a sick goal if it landed in the back of the net. So this is literally the last kick of the game and Oranges are on the ball here. And guys, you can just tell from this they are about to score. And guys, yeah, there you go. They score. But unfortunately for them, right after that, the game ended. Full time 5-4. So that is it. The week is done. Guys, rate my performance out of 10. Comment down below what my performance is. I hope you enjoyed this video. It took me ages to film. So if you guys could smash the like button, that would mean so much to me. My name's SV2 and without further ado, guys, I am out.